Hey, it's Jake Gosselin with Altitude LED. In this video, I wanna walk you through this ground support system that we installed here at South Fellowship Church in Littleton, Colorado. Uh, this is actually my personal church, so I'm excited to give you a quick tour of what this setup looks like. So if you are looking into a ground support system for your church, you'll know exactly what it looks like and how simple that is to even install yourself. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hop on behind the wall here so I can show you what the product looks like. These are the Altitude Apex panels. So these are the, what I would consider the, the more beefier size panels that are intended to be, uh, they could be portable if you wanted to move them around at your church or use them for some other event somewhere else. Like they could be moved around um, and they just have the very robust uh, components back here. So this wall is 10 feet tall by 20 feet wide. It consists of 72 panels. And you can see this is the ground support system. Um, the panels are really easy to, to assemble. I actually assembled this alongside of the worship pastor here at the church. It took us about two days to assemble it. And again, very straightforward. And the Altitude team is going to be able to support you both through some remote coaching calls as well as through our online uh, courses that we have on how to as assemble a system like this. So you can do this yourself even if you have zero experience constructing an LED wall. So you've got the panels that stack on top of one another. They clamp uh, together, so it's very sturdy. But then more importantly, you use the ground support system here that is then attached with these clamps to the panel structure. So they have one, two, about three points of contact with the panels um, on these vertical columns here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got like six vertical columns. And then we've got these additional crossbars to just add to the, uh, the support. It's a very lightweight ground support system and it's very robust. The other important thing with ground support is to make sure you have these counterweights so you can find bags of tube sand at your local Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store. And the hardest part of this whole install process is just lugging these sandbags uh, to, to your church. Um, the rest of it is, is not nearly as strenuous. An LED wall is simple. It really needs two things, power and data. So here at South Fellowship Church, we did have an electrician add a few more circuits to our stage to make sure we weren't going to be you know, tripping any circuits or anything like that. And that's something, again, the Altitude LED team can coach you through and let you know what you need to tell an electrician to make sure you have enough power ready to go. So each row, there's six rows of panels. Each row has uh, a power line going into the first panel on a row, and then they daisy chain. So you can see these are these power con connectors that daisy chain uh, power in to out to in to out all the way down the row. And then they also have the data lines that are daisy chaining them in the same way. Each row has its own data line, and there's six of them that are coming from this processor right here. So the processor, this is the Novastar VX600, a common one that we install for Altitude LED clients. This takes an SDI video signal from our video switcher in the tech booth. It goes into the processor, and then the processor you know, says like, okay, what video data needs to go to each row of panels to create that beautiful high definition image. So that's it. Constructing a ground support system is probably one of the, the easiest LED systems uh, to install yourself. And like I said, the Altitude team will support you through that process. Uh, and we do have turnkey options as well if you want someone to come out and do that work for you. Let's head on back to the tech booth now to uh, show you how we are actually getting content from our computer running all of our graphics to the LED wall. So kind of working our way backwards from the processor I just showed you here to the tech booth. We have our video switcher. It's the ATEM Constellation 2ME video switcher. It has plenty of inputs and outputs for our uh, church here. And we have two mix effects, one for our side screens and one for our live stream. It would be cool if we had like a 4ME switcher so we could have one ME dedicated to just the LED wall. But What's great about this switcher is it has plenty of uh, routing capability where you essentially have a bunch of aux outputs um, that can go to any content uh, display destination like an LED wall, and you can take any of your inputs and route it to that output. So lots of flexibility with a really affordable video switcher. So now let's head on to our computer graphics workstation here. This is our main instance of ProPresenter that we run on this computer. And 
the way we're getting video from ProPresenter to the switcher is we're using a DeckLink Duo, which is attached to the Mac Mini running ProPresenter um, using a Thunderbolt cable. And a DeckLink Duo is great because we can create multiple screen outputs from ProPresenter for our side screens, lower thirds lyrics, um, and then for our LED wall, oh, also the stage display screen for our musicians to see the lyrics and the chords and all that stuff. So we have four outputs and one of those is an output that we actually can use to send content to our LED wall. Uh, we actually have a second instance of ProPresenter over here. This instance of ProPresenter is running on another Mac and we're using a, a little Ultra Studio mini monitor, goes Thunderbolt to SDI, also goes to one of the inputs on our video switcher. And this gives us a little bit more independence for the content we wanna throw onto our LED wall. Um, so we're able to you know, poke around on different graphics, um, whether it's uh, Sunday screens graphics, whether it's uh, nature footage, whether it's other motion backgrounds. Another cool trick that we actually set up here, and I'll make another video on this for the Altitude LED channel, is we send an NDI output over the network from the other ProPresenter machine. So if we kind of just want a convenient way to mirror the background uh, content from the first machine, we can put it onto here, but we can also use the power of ProPresenter looks to format the lyrics so that on the center screen LED wall, the lyrics are at the top center, whereas our side screens, it's, they're just centered in the image. Um, we want them on the top center for the LED wall so people can see the lyrics over the band members. So, so many ways you can configure your content going to an LED wall when you're using a powerful software like ProPresenter. So that's it. That is our video system set up here at South Fellowship Church with our Altitude LED system. That's all I have for you in this video. And now that you see what it looks like to have a ground support system um, and what that could look like for your church, don't hesitate to reach out to our team at altitudeled.com to get started on your project today. And if you don't wanna miss out on any of our LED and visual content here on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.